Mahusi Kainarugaba, born on April 24, 1974, is a Ugandan military officer and the son of President Yoweri Museveni. He currently serves as the Chief of Defense Forces, CDF, of the Uganda People's Defense Forces, UPDF, and is also the chairman of the Patriotic League of Uganda, a pressure group advocating for his presidency. Mahuzi has held several key positions in the UPDF, including Commander of the Special Forces Command, SFC, Uganda Special Operations Unit, from 2008 to 2017 and again from December 2020 to 2021. In January 2017, he was appointed by his father as Senior Presidential Advisor for Special Operations, sparking speculation that he was being groomed for the presidency. While retaining this advisory role, he was appointed as the Chief Commander of the UPDF's Land Forces from June 24, 2021, until October 4, 2022, when he was removed following controversial tweets claiming he could capture Nairobi in less than two weeks. Despite this, on March 21, 2024, his father reappointed him as Chief of Defense Forces, effectively making him the head of Uganda's military. The UPDF and SFC have been accused of using excessive force and abductions, and Mahuzi, along with other senior officials, has been mentioned in a complaint to the International Criminal Court. On March 15, 2023, he announced his intention to run for president in the 2026 elections, despite his father's indication that he would seek re-election. Under Mahuzi's leadership as commander of Uganda's land forces, Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo launched a joint military offensive in eastern Congo on November 30, 2021, known as Operation Shuja, targeting the jihadist-linked rebel group Allied Democratic Forces, ADF, along the Uganda-Congo border. Mahuzi Kainarugaba was born on April 24, 1974, in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, to Yoweri and Janet Museveni. At the time, Museveni was an exiled leader of the Fronesa rebel outfit, plotting to overthrow Idi Amin's dictatorship. Museveni has held power since 1986, nearly seven years after Amin's downfall. Raised in a Christian family, Mahuzi became born again during his secondary school years. In 1999, he married Charlotte Nankunda Kutesa. Mahuzi attended schools in Tanzania, Kenya, Mount Kenya Academy in Nairi, and Sweden. After his father became president of Uganda in 1986, he attended Kampala Parents School, King's College Budo, and St. Mary's College Kasubi, graduating in 1994. He was admitted to the Egyptian Military Academy, where he completed courses for company and battalion commanders. He also attended the Kalama Armored Warfare Training School. In 2007, he completed a one-year course at the United States Army Command and General Staff College at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, graduating in June 2008. He also completed the Executive National Security Program at the South African National Defense College. In 1997, Mahuzi obtained a degree in political science from the University of Nottingham. In 1999, Mahuzi joined the UPDF as an officer cadet, graduating in 2000 from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, the British Army's officer training school. His rapid promotion within the UPDF was opposed by some of Museveni's close colleagues from the NRA Bush War, including David Sejusa and Kitsa Basiji. In September 2011, Mahuzi was promoted to colonel. In early 2012, he enrolled in the Executive National Security Program at South Africa's National Defense College. By August 2012, he had been promoted to Brigadier General and appointed commander of the SFC. In 2013 and 2014, he was among the senior UPDF commanders deployed to South Sudan to support the government during internal conflict. In 2017, Mahuzi was appointed Senior Presidential Advisor for Special Operations, a position he held until December 2020. He served as SFC Commander from 2008 to 2017 and again from December 2020 to 2021. In February 2019, he was promoted to Lieutenant General. In June 2021, Mahuzi was appointed Commander of the UPDF's Infantry Branch, succeeding Peter Elwelu, who became deputy head of the military. Elwelu had commanded the controversial raid on the Rwenzururu Palace in western Uganda in November 2016, 
resulting in the deaths of more than 150 people. In March 2022, Mahuzi announced his retirement from military service via social media, but later retracted this statement. Later that year, in October, following a series of controversial and diplomatically damaging tweets, including threats to invade neighboring Kenya, Mahuzi was removed from military office by Museveni. However, he was simultaneously promoted to full general and retained his role as senior presidential advisor. On March 21, 2024, Mahuzi returned to the military as chief of defense forces, again appointed by his father, highlighting the nepotistic nature of the regime. In 2013, General David Sejusa Tiniafusa wrote a letter outlining a plan for Mahuzi to succeed his father as president, alleging that army officers opposed to the plan risked assassination. Sejusa described Uganda as being turned into a political monarchy, a claim Mahuzi denied. The letter led to one of the government's most aggressive attacks on the media, with the Daily Monitor under police siege for more than 10 days. Sejusa spent over a year in exile in the UK before returning and was later arrested for insubordination in 2016. The term Mahuzi, MK, project is now commonly used by Mahuzi supporters on social media. In February 2024, Mahuzi rebranded the Mahuzi project into the Patriotic League of Uganda, ostensibly aimed at promoting good citizenship, national pride, and the protection of vulnerable persons, among other goals without explicitly mentioning its political advocacy. In February 2019, Rwanda closed its border with Uganda, accusing Uganda of supporting rebel groups aimed at destabilizing Rwanda. Uganda countered with accusations of espionage. Rwanda demanded Uganda cease its support for anti-Kigali elements and release detained Rwandan citizens. In 2022, Mahuzi took on a diplomatic role, succeeding where Angola's President João Manuel Lourenço and the Democratic Republic of Congo's Felix Tshisekedi had failed in 2019, facilitating a meeting between President Kagame and Museveni. The main Gatuna border post between Uganda and Rwanda reopened in January 2022, following Mahuzi's engagement. In 2007, Mahuzi led the decisive defeat of the ADF in Bundabugio, where 80 enemy forces, including the ADF's third-in-command, were killed. In 2008, he served as second-in-command of Operation Lightning Thunder in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, aimed at degrading the Lord's Resistance Army's combat capabilities in Garamba. In 2009, he played a key role in training and commissioning the UPDF's first paratrooper unit since 1976. Due to his role as SFC commander, Mahuzi has been named in a complaint to the International Criminal Court, ICC over allegations of abductions and human rights abuses. On December 31, 2020, three days after being reappointed as SFC commander, Mahuzi posted a series of tweets attacking opposition politician Bobby Wine, which were criticized as promoting tribalism. He later deleted the tweets following public backlash. A 17 million US dollar tender contract to deliver medical oxygen was awarded to Silverbacks, a company owned by Mahuzi's wife, Charlotte, leading to accusations of corruption. During the COVID-19 outbreak in June 2021, oxygen production struggled, causing many patients to die from shortages. On December 28, 2021, Ugandan security forces arrested journalist and writer Kakwenza Rukira after he insulted Mahuzi on Twitter. Kakwenza was tortured and reportedly had three meetings with Mahuzi in which he had to apologize for the tweets. Mahuzi has been criticized for his active involvement in politics while still serving as an officer in the UPDF, which is against UPDF rules. He played a key role in mending the Rwanda-Uganda relationship, culminating in the reopening of the border with Rwanda. Mahuzi is known to enjoy alcoholic beverages and has been criticized for tweeting while intoxicated, posting controversial statements. Despite this, no charges have been brought against him under the UPDF Act for disgraceful conduct. In February 2022, Mahuzi expressed support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine, writing that Russian President Vladimir Putin is absolutely right. In May 2022, he praised former U.S. President Donald Trump, describing him as the only white man I have ever respected. In October 2022, Mahuzi offered 100 cows as a bride price for Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney and threatened to conquer Rome if the dowry was refused. 
On October 3, 2022, Mahuzi caused a diplomatic incident with Kenya when he tweeted about invading the country and capturing Nairobi, prompting an apology from his father. Mahuzi has become increasingly vocal on X, discussing socio-political issues in Uganda and praising the UPDF as the greatest army in the world. Some have dubbed him the Tweeting General for his prolific use of the platform. Through X, he has fueled rumors about his political future, including hinting at a presidential run in the 2026 election.